Hey guys, this is Madhuba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to create concrete fascia on flat roof. When I, when I say flat roof, I mean a roof like this that has an um, angle, right? Like this, not totally flat. Now, this video was actually requested by one of our subscribers, NG Posh. He said, I was trying to create a flat roof with fascia concrete on my Archicad 20, but finding it difficult to achieve. I mean, flat roof design with concrete fascia, not hidden flat roof. I don't know if you can explain in your next video. Thank you. He is probably talking about something like this. And when he said that, today I had to try and see if it is actually possible because I've never really done a flat roof with um, concrete fascia before. So I did this with beam, right, by changing the angles like this. And you click this on this point, you change the angle like this, okay, to fit the roof angle. But the issue is that we have something like this here. So it makes it imperfect to have something like this on your project, right? It has to be really complete like a perfect join and there's no way i could do that even with this there's no way i could do that so i tried um railing okay this is rail it gave me all angle except one all perfect um, angle except one which is this i tried what i could do to you know, remove all this, but there was no way I could do that. I even tried to convert to morph to see if I would be able to delete some of all these SSs, but this is what it gave me, okay? It's not joining. Okay. Let's undo. We go back to the way. This is the way to write. I, I even change this to this point so that they will join at this angle right and then later deleted it by changing to morph over to morph and then delete this part as you can see it's not joining okay and now it's either you use this and probably um let your your the end when you draw with um your railing and let it end there but it doesn't still make sense if it's not closed like this so how to use morph right morph tool and everything it closed as you can see there's a perfect um closed angle so it simply means morph is the best tool to achieve this particular uh, exercise. So I'm going to show you now. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete it. And we are going to draw a profile, a new profile. This is at our elevation marker. I took our elevation marker from the view, like so, and dragged and drew it like this. Okay, it's as simple as that. So you can always remove this, um, this limitation here. So it shows everything. So that's, that was how I drew the elevation marker. So I'm going to draw the profile from the elevation. So I'm going to see, I'm looking at this. This is where the angle facing, facing. This is, this is the top, the top angle, the top slope and the down slope of the roof. So I'm looking at this point right here. So I'm going to click and right click, then open with current um, view settings. So this is uh, the roof, as you can see. This is the thickness of the roof from this point to this point. This is the topmost part of the roof. Now this is the profile I drew with um, using um, fill tool from document. Okay, I'm going to maybe shift it somewhere here so I can do something similar. Then draw your draw your profile, whatever profile type you want to use. Okay, this was what I, I practiced with this. I'm going to draw a profile now. 
from this point to this point as that's the thickness of the rope so drag it to the extent you want maybe 250 okay and that's it so i'm going to do a different profile from what i did before okay change this so i can easily cut I can easily cut like so. This is what I want to do, right? This is just exactly what I want to do. And maybe I can chamfer this place, this place a little bit like so. Okay. Okay. So having drawn this, just go to your morph and click your morph, hold down your space bar and click that particular shape you just drew with your fill tool. Just click it. Okay, it will get the shape. You can delete your fill if you want to, and your morph remains there. Go back to our plan. Our morph should be somewhere around here. So this is this is this is the line. It's when you draw, it draws on top of the line. Okay, this is it. So we are going to shift it down to this edge, this point here. That's the, that's the edge of the roof. Let's go to our 3D to see what it looks like, and then from there we can draw. So this is our morph okay so at that point we cut that's why the, the 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 height is here just shift it up a little bit like so now the next thing to do is to draw and trace the roof itself the angle right it's different because this has angle if it was a total flat roof, it would have been very easy to create. In fact, I don't think um, NG Porch would have messaged me to do a video like this. So you click the edge right here. Okay, make, make sure your morph is at the edge so you can easily trace. Then you your paste palette will appear and you select this. Okay, now you see the little challenge we have right now you cannot bend it you can't follow this you can't follow this slope right what you can do is we we'll have to shift this a little bit by a certain number and we can't just shift by 10 20 or whatever because it will affect it will it will show in your work so we have to just use one instead one one is insignificant it won't show just press one and press enter okay then you can change the angle like so you can rotate like so press down your press your zero and rotate then when you rotate you can press escape to deactivate the rotate Okay, I'm going to press my zero right now. That is O rather. O on your keyboard, not zero, O on your keyboard. Then I rotated. So we can't really continue. So until I press escape to deactivate the I rotate just once. Okay, then you can click so i'm going to click at that particular edge so that it will join so that is pretty straightforward isn't it as you can see that one is isn't significant it's it's not totally showing okay but that's the trick we have to use to get the angles you can easily just um duplicate your roof by clicking control control um, d control so that you can have another roof on top reduce the height a little bit and then offset it okay offset your roof like so and offset more maybe by 50 like so okay now this is um this is it let's go back and see the actual thickness of the roof like use 15 or 25 whatever 
that works for you and change the material to okay so that's pretty much it change it to white so it looks good okay so that's it you can see concrete facials on a um, sloped flat roof and so this is it thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye, -bye.